it's just about always with you. It can shoot full HD video. Here's six ways that your iPhone can help shoot your next movie. Hi, I'm Grant and this is an iPhone. The old cliche saying that the right camera for the job is the one that you have with you was coined a long time before the invention of smartphones. However, it's probably more relevant now with a device that can sit in your pocket and can shoot amazing stills and full HD video. The iPhone, or any video capable smartphone, is small, it's compact, and you'll probably generally have it on you. So here are my top tips for using your iPhone in your next video production. Tip number one, get a tripod adapter. These are inexpensive and will help you eliminate the handheld jitter that tiny light cameras like this suffer from. I bought this cheap one here for about five bucks, or for a little more you can buy this Joby Grip Tight. The other benefit of tripods is that you will generally take more time for lining up and composing your shots when you've got your smartphone attached to a tripod. You will also be able to use it with other video tools such as a slider for example. Tip number two, download the Filmic Pro app for more manual control of your iPhone's video camera. The main benefits of this app is the ability to lock focus, exposure, and white balance, or tone as they call it. This app also has a lot of other great video features. Tip number three, attach a DSLR lens. This is when your iPhone stops looking like an iPhone. This involves a bit more expense in the form of a phone adapter mount and a lens mounting adapter and a DSLR lens, of course. This one is from MCAM and I'll put the links below and I am running it with a 50mm lens on it. It takes a bit of setting up and gives you a very stylized look with a heavy vignette around the edges. However, it's hard to beat if you're after that shallow depth of field and a certain look to your shots. Tip number four, slow-mo. The iPhone 5S and more recent models can shoot amazing slow-mo at a mind-boggling 240 frames a second, which is essentially a three times or three times slower, super smooth, slow motion. You can also switch on 60 frames recording, which will effectively give you a half speed, smooth, slow motion effect. Tip number five, use your iPhone as an external audio recorder. I'm currently wearing a low cost lapel mic here from Aspen Mics, which comes with a necessary adapter. You plug it into your phone, you download an app such as the Rode Rec app, and you now have external audio recording, which you can then sync up later in post. You could also use this as a good low cost alternative to a radio mic. Tip number six, time lapse iPhone models from the 5S and up now have a time-lapse function built into the camera. You simply select it, point it, hit go, and it does the rest. I've used this a bit on my vlogging channel, which I'll put a link to here, and it actually does a really good job. If you are after more control, you can download one of the many time-lapse apps. I use iLapse. This one lets you lock the focus, exposure, white balance, and more importantly, how often you want it to take a frame, and you can also set the total amount of frames for the app to shoot. This app will also automatically compile the video for you at the desired frame rate. So that's my six top tips on how to incorporate your iPhone into your next film or video production. I hope you found these useful and if you haven't already, subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.